Hey, I'm Blake from Econet. So I recently received notification from my Mo and Flow uh, application that I needed it, <clears throat> that I needed a uh, repair. Apparently it wasn't uh, measuring flow and uh, Moen knew that. So, and they suspected, or I guess they knew what the problem was and they uh, sent me instructions no charge uh, parts kit so I could get it working again and I guess it was the impeller uh, that measures the flow the uh, the Moen device is an intrusive device you have to cut the pipes to install it and because it was measuring pressure I presume but not measuring flow for you know days or weeks at a time uh, they knew there what the problem was so this was a good opportunity to uh, show you how this repair works show you how the device works itself and talk a bit about uh, what I think about the device. Um, of course, I, you know, we have a competitive product with our old dog valve and our puck uh, based uh, sensors. I've been using this device for about five years. I didn't actually purchase it. I was in discussions with uh, Flow Technologies at the time. This is before they were purchased by uh, Moen uh, about some, about some, potential uh, partnership. So I think they sent me one for free at the time. But before I get into more details, let's just talk about this uh, repair and then I'll uh, give you some history and, and what I think about the product. It's kind of cool that they knew I had a problem with it before I did. I've been using it probably for, for months or maybe over a year before um, I got this email. Um, and as I said, uh, the device measures flow with this impeller that's inside. This is the uh, replacement kit and this is, I guess is symmetrical. You can put it either way we discovered and it has a little magnet on each side that you know spins through the uh, collar and I presume there's a uh, there's some type of magnetic sensor there, inductive sensor and this is just a placeholder and it had included uh, two replacement gaskets and some uh, silicon um, grease. All of the instructions, there was videos instructions and uh, written instructions, but uh, we just basically didn't read the instructions and put it in there. We were a bit confused at first because the it didn't start reading right away. Um, it seems to be a lag in the system because you know after uh, 10 or 15 minutes it started to pick up flow. So it's not really a real-time uh, solution and it's not meant to be. This is what the impeller or the spinning part looked like that came out, the failed piece. I presume it had something to do with the corrosion on the magnets uh, where it failed. In any case, it wasn't reading uh, flow because of this. And I'm not sure if the replacement part um, corrects this problem, maybe with uh, more stainless steel parts or, or what. So perhaps this is going to happen again in a few years. Perhaps not, uh, but now it's working again and it's uh, given me uh, flow data. And in fact, it sounds like it's just getting a profile of the house again because it's shut off the water a couple of times when it didn't uh, need to. The way it works is you get a five minute warning and they, uh, they call you, they email you, and they probably, if they had the app up, you'd probably get a notification saying you got a five minute warning so you can go into the app and override it and say, you know, shut it off. It wasn't a leak or don't, you know, disable the warning. It wasn't a leak and you can even do it with a phone call. You get a phone call and, uh, you go through a menu and you can hit two to, uh, you know, disable the warning or you could hit one to shut off the water. So that's kind of cool, except it can be annoying when you, you know, when it shuts off the water, when it doesn't need to. What do I think about this device that I've been using for about uh, five or six years now? Um, I think it mostly came from the uh, world where they're trying to conserve water. Places like California where there's water shortages and they're trying to encourage people to use le less water. You know, don't, uh, you know, have a property where you need to water a lot. Uh, um, you know, don't leave the tap water uh, running while you're in between the dishes and the dishwasher and the sink, things like that, because it gives you these goals, uh, you know, to achieve uh, using less water. 
Um, but because of the way it works, you can also use it for um, leak detection. And I think the way that works with this device is it kind of, it asks you questions when you first uh, set up the app and install it, you know, how many bathrooms and do you have an irrigation system and so on. And it builds a profile of the uh, home. And I think they may even have a bit of AI in there or they're planning to. So it could tell the difference between a toilet flush and a dishwasher run or a laundry run, that kind of thing. Um, and then if you use too much water uh, for too long, it uh, will shut, shuts the water off or gives you a warning and then shuts the water off. Uh, mostly I've, uh, over the five years that I had it, you know, it's never, I've never had a leak. Uh, <clears throat> but on a couple occasions, somebody left the tap running and it warned me about that. And that's kind of cool. Um, I'm finding it kind of annoying right now because it's kind of, I think it's in the building profile stage. It seems to be shutting off the water a couple times a day or trying to. Um, I wonder if there are settings in there so you could go in and change those trigger levels. I haven't seen any, nothing, nothing is obvious. Uh, maybe I just need to wait a week or two while it builds a profile and, you know, once in a while ask me if this is a leak or not and then it can decide to shut off the water. Um, so that's mostly for catastrophic leaks, I think. Um, it probably wouldn't catch a slow leak, um, but if there was a, uh, if, if it was the equivalent of a tap, you know, left open and it was running on the floor or a toilet running on, maybe uh, it would uh, catch that as a leak. Um, but I think it also has an option, it's what's called a health test, which is kind of cool. What you do is I think it, you tell it, you know, when approximate time to try this test, like in the middle of the night, it shuts off the water, waits 10 or 15 minutes and turns the water back on. And presuming nobody's used the water in that time, if there's flow or a flow change or a pressure change, you know, there's something wrong, like a run on toilet or a small leak somewhere. And that's kind of cool as well. It is a competitive product to the Bulldog solution, which we sell with pucks. Um, we are working on a flow based solution, but ours would be uh, non-intrusive. This is an intrusive flow based solution, which means you have to cut the pipes to install it. I would say it's an expensive solution and in the $700 range, plus you have to uh, hire a plumber. Um, so those are, you know, some, I guess some negatives. Um, but, you know, uh, I guess a positive is it seems like a lot of insurance companies are demanding this. We have made a deal with our solution with a couple of insurance companies. And one of them commented that they looked at the Moen, but it wasn't uh, reliable enough, I guess, because of the, uh, the hard water or the calcified water locations, maybe particular to this uh, insurance company, would cause, this kind of, uh, would cause this kind of issue. I'm not sure if that's what it's related to. Even at an expensive thing and that is it's intrusive, I think it's a, you know, it would be, it's a good way if you can put up with the, the um, the annoyance of getting familiar with your home and may possibly and possibly if you could set your own trigger levels it would uh, prevent a catastrophic uh, leak if you were away for months or weeks at a time um, that's not really applicable if you're running if you manage your system properly and you can shut off because you would just shut it off when you're away but uh, you know I can think of a couple uh, environments or circumstances where it would be great a solution to prevent a cop you know the water a pipe has burst in the winter or whatever reason it's flowing for five or ten minutes it knows okay this is not a shower this is not the laundry and the shower on at the same time it's been too long and too much i'm going to shut off the water um, you know you'd have some uh, 10 or 15 minutes of damage but uh, you know there's a lot more damage if things runs for 24 hours so that's kind of cool and the the health test as they call it um, that's a cool idea and we would probably do that with our non-intrusive version, uh, some kind of health test where you shut off the water in the middle of the night when you know nobody's using the water, and then you would turn it back on and, and see a, a difference in flow. The advantage of the, uh, the Moen flow is that it also measure, measures pressure, and we probably combine that with any flow uh, and pressure change to determine if there was any leaks or micro leaks. In terms of reliability, um, so I had the first one for about a year and it failed electrically. You could hear it clicking when you tried to close it. And they, uh, the customer service was good. They uh, immediately sent me a replacement. 
and I put that in and that was good for about three or four years, I guess, until this, I got this notification. So the customer service seems to be good. They, you know, provided no uh, charge replacements and in both cases or in the second case uh, replacement parts um, and they even was a bonus they sent a uh, they have these puck style leak sensors now as well and they included those and I tested that and that works fine it, it uh, shuts off the water if there's a, a real leak however it did you know it failed the once had to replace the whole thing and uh, it did fail this second time um, it's kind of good that they knew it failed, but it's a little bit, uh, I guess, creepy that they knew it failed before I did. <laughs> I guess they're watching, and I guess that's okay in, the, in these circumstances. One thing I don't like about the solution is it's kind of proprietary. I can't really integrate it in with my other smart home devices. It would be nice if I could integrate it with smart things or Home Assistant or any of the other popular uh, hubs to make decisions and combinations with my other sensors around the house or, you know, notifications and so on. So in conclusion, if you're okay with a, um, you know, a relatively expensive solution at $700 plus, plus you have to hire a plumber to install it, um, I think it's a good solution for detecting uh, leaks. Um, of course, it's going to miss leaks that our system would get with the pucks, but we would miss leaks, of course, based on the on the flow it's really a combined solution and that's what we're working on so with our new uh, version of the bulldog it's going to uh, provide both uh, flow based leak and uh, position puck based leak sensors all right that's it so uh, like and subscribe and uh, look for my next video cheers